Daily broadside, day 211. I think we should uh, kind of suspend all this getting everybody body cams for police. I think what we need is body cams for politicians. That's what I want to see. I want to see what old Pelosi and Schumer are up to all day long while they're at the work of the people. Uh, because I guarantee you it ain't the work of the people. It's raising money and apparently doing some... Uh, insider trading if you know what I mean but uh yeah that's what I would go for uh, then again I don't get arrested and charged with crime so I really don't need to worry about protecting my side of the story I guess but uh Kanye West is an extremely entertaining individual and sometimes I listen to him and I think yeah, those dudes out there and the other times I think they're it's like, are we the ones that are out there and he's making all the sense? Like, the stuff that comes out of his mouth is just fascinating to listen to. And the dude believes it. And, and so, you know, that, that gives me something too, you know. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just entertaining is all I'm saying. I'm not buying it left or right. I just, you know, as far as truth or fiction. But, uh, you know, he, he makes some solid points from time to time. Plus, I didn't mind that Adam Levine song he did about 10, 15 years ago. It was pretty catchy. The one where it was in like a closed shopping mall in the video. Um, yeah, I don't remember what it's called. I can I can hear it in my head, but I don't know what it's called. Because I don't listen to Kanye West. Technically speaking, if you fall down the stairs in an M.C. Escher uh, painting, you're just going to fall infinitely down the stairs. It's kind of weird if you think about that. And I don't think the Millennium Falcon looks near uh, aerodynamic enough to make a quantum leap into a hydrosphere, whatever, whatever the three tarpos in a bill, bill of giga watt. I don't know what he was talking about because I, I don't watch those movies, but whatever speed he was going, that thing just doesn't look like, it looks like that front cockpit would just rip off at about four trillion miles an hour. Um, so I don't know why they decided to design it that way. It's cool inside everything from what I can tell, at least the, the toy was back in the day. But uh, not the most aerodynamic thing. The SR-71 Blackbird, yeah, I can see why that goes fast. Millennium Falcon, not so much. And Bob Dylan, Getty Lee of Rush, and, uh, and Neil Young all technically have bad voices. Uh, to the extent that some people can't even listen to them because they're, they're that atrocious, you know? And it, it is a bit of an acquired taste. I'm not a huge Dylan fan. I love Neil Young and I love Rush. But it took me a little getting used to the name, the voice, you know. But imagine, imagine if those people, right? Not so much Dylan, because he's 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 the biggest hack of the three by far. But imagine if those three people had had actually decent voices, you know, like above average, really good singing voices and all. Man, the stratosphere that they would have been vaulted into. Because Neil Young is just, ooh, that dude can write some songs just so perfect, so perfect. 